Go to MMORG.com and use coupon code TAP2K to save 6% on cheap and reliable MT. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tyler here. I am fresh off of work and we have new pack. Surprisingly, the uh, the servers seem to be working, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it seems like they are. We got crazy good players here. Galaxy Opal Hakeem, Galaxy Opal Oscar Robertson, Galaxy Opal AD, Galaxy Opal Lonzo, Pink Diamond, Tatum, Carl Anthony Towns, Derek Coleman, Jalen Brown. Then we have a Diamond, Andrew Wiggins in a Cavs jersey, which is interesting. Kind of like an alternate reality if he would have ended up staying on the Cavs. So tons of good players here. And there's a couple other players that I'm, I'm missing. But these are NBA draft packs. I'm excited to open them. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you go ahead and give the video a like. And subscribe if you're new here. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And we're growing like crazy right now. We got 966. I don't feel like doing math, but we're very close. I'm not going to give you an exact number amount because I'm lazy. But please, guys, if you can share the video, give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe. 34? Is that what it is? Yeah, it's 34. That wasn't even that hard. Pfft. Just give me two seconds to do the math. Okay, here we go. We're going to open a 10-pack box. I feel like 10-pack box is a little... I don't know. I, uh... I, you know, like I said, I've been against the boxes lately. But I'm pretty sure the minimum, you're, the minimum card in these packs is a diamond. So... We should be good at least. I mean, I'm thinking Galaxy Opal. I don't know. I'm hoping we can pull Galaxy Opal, but I'm thinking we're not going to. I'm thinking it's going to be a bunch of pink diamonds. See, we got diamond right there. You're not even surprised because, like I said, the minimum card, the minimum color in these packs is diamond. And we got diamond Aaron Gordon, which this card should be a beast. I'm curious if they gave him a three-point shot because if this is supposedly supposed to be a rookie card, or I guess they're not supposed to be rookie cards, are they? I guess they are. He couldn't shoot threes back then. I feel like so I don't know but uh, yeah so we got Diamond Aaron Gordon off the jump here the servers are working a little slow it seems like but we got another diamond here we go servers do seem to be working a little slow it's taking a couple seconds between packs but I can't complain about that too much two Diamond Aaron Gordons back to back and these diamond cards are gonna be selling for like probably like 5,000 MT I mean this basically this is the like probably I don't know if this is the last collection they're doing, but this is gonna like definitely crash the market hardcore. This this set of packs is gonna crash the market harder than anything has this year. I mean, diamonds are gonna be completely useless now, or not useless. Uh, diamonds are gonna be are gonna be completely not valuable, is what I should say. And we got Rick Smiths, Diamond Rick Smiths, which I'm curious. You know, I haven't checked his stats either, but he might be a pretty good card. Um, you know. Not, not a lot of people are thinking of starting Rick Smiths when they play my team, but you know he might be decent. Especially, all these diamond cards are going to be good budget cards, considering that they're all going to be going for super cheap. So, diamond Rick Smiths might be a nice pickup. And we got Markel Fultz, I believe. Diamond Markel Fultz. Yes, we got diamond Markel Fultz. I'm actually, for some reason, I'm actually kind of excited about diamond uh, Andrew Wiggins. I don't know why. It just I, I liked I wanted Andrew Wiggins to be as great as everybody said he was gonna be coming out of college or, or was it college or high school yeah it was college um but I wanted him to be as good because I remember watching the college the, the high school film of him and there we go Andrew Wiggins I remember watching the high school film of him and then I remember his college year and I really 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 wanted him to be um good and you know his they were calling him Maple Jordan and all these like Canadian names, like you know him being the goat. And I was like, oh my god, this guy's gonna be amazing. And he did not turn out. Him and Jabari Parker, honestly, probably the two biggest disappointments of this decade, I'd say. Let's go football on this one. Diamond, okay. Yeah, Andrew Wiggins and Jabari Parker, probably the two biggest disappointments of this decade, I'd say, as far as drafts go. Anthony Bennett's definitely up there. What was he drafted? 2013. And don't get me wrong, Jabari and Andrew Wiggins are far better than Anthony Bennett ever turned out to be. But they were calling Andrew Wiggins the next LeBron, which was kind of weird because his body was never like LeBron's. I mean, he was. You know, LeBron was kind of skinny coming into the league straight out of high school, but he bulked up. I never saw the ability to bulk up with, with Andrew Wiggins. I never thought that was there. And Jabari Parker was supposed to be Carmelo 2.0, which he is not. Now, who knows how good Jabari Parker would have been? If you win a Torres ACLs, Torres ACL, what do you do? Torres ACL twice in the same leg, or did you do one one each leg? I don't even remember. 
but uh, I think he tore his ACL twice on one leg and then maybe one in the other. No, is that wrong? Uh, you guys will let me know if I'm wrong. Um, another diamond. But yeah, so I wanted them to be good. They really weren't. Um, Andrew Wiggins and you know Jabari Parker. The Bucks weren't dumb enough to give Jabari Parker a huge contract, and Jabari Parker got that two-year, forty million dollar deal with the Bulls. And there go the server. Like I don't know where the the cards I already opened stop and where the the, the new packs end or start. I don't even see. I'm so confused right now. Okay, so I think I went up to pack nine. So I think I only have one more left. Poor servers crashed on me. I think this is my last pack. Diamond. Okay. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna open a few singles now. Hopefully it doesn't take forever, but these servers don't seem to be holding up very well right now. Let's open up our first single. Got a diamond. So we got it. One, two, okay, give me that galaxy opal. It's a diamond again. Servers suck right now, but I need you to do me a big favor. Give me a pink diamond. This is like ASMR. Oh, diamond again. Literally opened like 15 packs, and this is a 17 minute video so far. Because I've been waiting and waiting and waiting. Another diamond. Bro, the servers are just getting worse and worse. Look at this. Another diamond. Come on. Give me pink diamond or galaxy opal. Another diamond. Come on, 2K. Another diamond. All right, might be the last one here. I may open one with MT. I may open as one of the other packs too. Ones that aren't as... Um, expensive just to see you know you never know but this is the last one with VC if it even opens come on open open there we go you just gotta yell at it a little bit wow all diamonds couldn't get a single pink diamond all right I'm gonna open two more I'm gonna open uh, a less expensive one and the ones we were just opening each with MT. Maybe MT is the ticket. I don't know. I doubt it. I'll probably just get a diamond like I did every other pack. But you never know. So we're going to try. Come on, 2K. Give me a Galaxy Opal. Another diamond. Right, I'm open. One of these less expensive ones. I remember in the Generation Next pack, people were saying they were pulling pink diamonds and Galaxy Opals out of the cheaper ones. Which would be kind of smart. What if 2K hid all the good cards and the cheaper ones? It makes you buy more of them because they're cheaper. Because a couple people pull them, you hear word of mouth, you're like, okay, I'm going to pull one now. And then before I know it, you're buying a million of those. Oh! Let's go! We got a pink diamond out of the cheaper one! Yo! We got Derek Coleman! Let's go! Okay! Maybe I'm onto something right now. I think I got to open one more with MT. We got a pink diamond out of it, but you never know. Try it again. Bro, could you imagine if I pulled another pink diamond or a galaxy opal out of these cheaper packs? That would be pretty that'd be pretty insane. Oh, I got a diamond. I'm gonna open three more of these cheap packs with VC just because I wanna make sure I exhaust all my options. The fact that we pulled a pink diamond from those. When people are telling me they pulled Galaxy Opals from the cheaper ones in the Generation X packs, makes does make me think that maybe there are better odds for the top, top, top tier cards in the cheapest packs. And it's like, you're paying for the more expensive packs. Another pink diamond! Oh my god. So I think what it is, if you want consistent good players, you pull the expensive single. If you want... Feast or Famine, either really good cards or nothing, you pull the cheaper ones. That's kind of what it seems like. Because it's really weird that we just pulled Pink Diamond twice out of three packs in the cheaper one, when we just pulled almost 20 of the other one and got diamonds every time. Something's weird about that. Two Pink Diamonds and Diamond out of these ones so far. And we get nothing. Wow. We pulled two Pink Diamonds and a Diamond before we pulled a Gold out of those single packs. I don't know. Maybe... You guys should open the singles. You guys definitely need to let me know what you pull because if you guys pull the singles and you're uh, the the cheaper singles and you're getting stuff, let me know because I gotta 
I don't know, I got a little philosophy here that those might be the best things to open out of all of them. A diamond, okay, not bad. I mean, obviously diamonds are what you get out of these ones anyways, but two pink diamonds, two diamonds, and a gold out of that compared to nothing but diamonds that don't sell for anything, I would open. I would still open the singles, the cheapest singles, that is. All right, we're gonna open one more one more up with MT, guys. We just for short of opening one more with VC, so I'm open one with open one more with MT. See if we can get a Galaxy Opal or another pink diamond. I seriously think the cheapest ones are the way to go, guys. Like I said, let me know. Maybe you guys will pull those and get nothing but gold players. But if you guys are pulling those, let people know in the comments that those are the way to go. See, look, then we got an emerald there. So, in conclusion, I honestly think the cheapest cards are the way to go. And it could just be that I got dumb luck. But people, like I said, told me in the Generation Next packs that they were pulling more pink diamonds and Galaxy Opals from there than they were the boxes and the more expensive packs. So I think maybe on these special uh, collections where there's only 10 packs in a box instead of 20, the cheapest one might be the way to go. I think, you know, I'm opening, oh, I'm opening another one while I'm talking here and closing out the video. So guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like, leave a comment, subscribe down below. We're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. We're 34 away, so please support the video and help my channel grow. We're almost to 1,000. I can't wait to get there. And let me know in the comments what you're pulling, which packs you're deciding to pull, if you are, if the server's even working for you, and what you're getting out of them, and what you guys think the best odds are. Me personally, I would go for the cheapest packs. I wish I just would have opened all of those, but it is what it is. And, oh, and they're pink diamond! Oh my god. Are you serious? Is this Jason Tatum this time? That's Jalen Brown again. Okay, yeah guys, open the cheapest ones. That's it. We're closing out the video. Talk to you in the next one. I love you.